Hello. <laughs> Welcome to PyCon, everyone. <laughs> How excited are you to be at PyCon? I'm not sure I believe you. How excited are you to be at PyCon? <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, who's here at PyCon this year for the first time? Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> um, last year was my first year at PyCon. Um, so I am super stoked that you're here for the first time. Um, the things that I'm going to say here are mostly going to be for you. Um, I don't know what happened to my slides. So that's, oh no, there they are. Oh, we found them. <laughs> Um, one quick administrative note before we start, um, Jessica McKellar's talk this morning on Python in the browser is canceled. Um, the talk that she's hosting is not canceled. Um, the, din the dinner she's hosting is not canceled. Um, so. I want to talk a little bit about some things that Py PyCon does um, to welcome you. Um, one thing, do you see on the side where they're, like, the words that I say are being typed and appearing on the screen? <laughs> I, well, <laughs> um, that's amazing. Um, this year, Py PyCon has live captioning for all talks. Um, this is... Uh, <laughs> right? Um, this is because uh, snakes are deaf, and uh, some Pythonistas are also deaf, um, or speak English as a, like, a second language, or like weren't paying attention for a second and missed something. Um, so we've done live captioning for all talks. Um, something else we're doing this year, for the second time, I believe, is childcare. Um, if you're a parent and it would help you out to have childcare at PyCon next year, um, please look out for it next year. Um, I'm really stoked that we did, we've been able to do this. Um, I want to talk for one thing that we do is to have a code of conduct. Um, please be. <laughs> Um, please be mindful of the code of conduct. It's in your um, program and also on the website. Um, the, and there's contact information. Um, if there's anything, please feel free to talk to any PyCon staff member at any time. Um, another thing that I'm super stoked about is there's $200,000 in financial aid <laughs> that PyCon put together. <laughs> Uh, this means so, so. This is like allowed like almost 300 people to come to PyCon, which is like more, I think more than 10 percent of the people here, which is pretty incredible. Um, I'm extremely um, special thanks to Dropbox, the financial aid sponsor, and as always, the Python Software Foundation. Um, all right, a few things that have already happened at PyCon, not to make you like feel sad that you missed them, but just so that you know that they might be there for next year. Um, there are 36 tutorials that happened where people learned all kinds of amazing stuff. Um, there are eight sponsor workshops, which are a pretty fun time because they're free. Um, and like if you're at the short tutorials, you can go to them and learn something cool. Um, there was the Python language summit, where people work on the Python programming language and like make it better. Um, there was the education summit, and I was just talking to someone about it on the bus this morning, and I learned that like uh, there were like teachers from like all over who are and people who are teaching Python and like telling each other like here's how we like train people to teach programming, like here are the tools that we're using, um, and. It sounds like it was like just this like super awesome way for people to, to get together and talk about teaching Python. And I'm really happy that that, that happened. Um, and if you're interested in that, I hope it'll happen again next year and that you can go. Um, there was a Django Girls workshop yesterday uh, and where people were like learning to program for the first time. And the people who learned to program yesterday um, are like here at the conference, which is amazing. Um, so if you're at the Django Girls Workshop, then welcome. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, so I want to talk about some things that are going to happen in the next few days at PyCon. Um, I've split it up into three categories of thing, um, even though they mostly all fit into all of the categories. 
<laughs> um, we're going to learn some amazing stuff and meet delightful people and give back. Um, so we're going to start with learning awesome stuff. Um, because there's so much awesome stuff to learn. Um, there are a lot of talks. Um, I'm not going to like go over all the topics because there's a million of them and you know and you're all like so excited and you're like, oh no, what talks am I going to go to? They all look too good. <laughs> and there are five tracks and it's like amazing. Um, one thing that I love is that there are talks about like a huge variety of topics. Um, so like we have talks about like satellites in Python or like uh, games in Python and 3D printing in Python, and then there are talks which are like not exactly about Python, but about things that are relevant to Python programmers, like Git or like Rust, which is another programming language. <laughs> um, and then there are like talks about more around like the Python community, like um, software and ethics and like deafness. Um, and I'm really excited. And um, one thing I'm really excited to do is to go to talks about things that like I haven't that I don't know anything about. Um, it's going to be the best. Um, one thing I would love you to do is ask questions in talks with me. Um, who always feels totally confident about asking questions? And is always like, that's like, I see like five of you. <laughs> Which is awesome. Um, but yeah, sometimes I'm like, oh no, I can't ask a question, my question will be totally dumb. Um, so one of my goals for PyCon this year is to like, think of something that like, I don't understand or that I want to know more about and be like, yeah, I have a question. I want to know that thing. <laughs> um, and I would love it if you did that with me. Um, one other thing that I'd love for you to think about as you're at PyCon um, is to consider like giving a talk next year or submitting a talk. Uh, I'm going to tell you a short story about that. Um, so last year, last year was my first year at PyCon, um, and I was like really excited about like data analysis in Python, and like I wanted to give a talk about it. But I was like, there, there were two main problems. Um, one was that I was not like the world expert um, in data analysis in Python, which I thought was like a huge problem, and I was like, oh no, I cannot possibly give a talk. Um, and the second problem was that people had like previously discussed this at Python. So I was like, oh, people will have heard about it already. No one will care. Also, I'm not the world expert. This is impossible. Um, and then it turned out that all of that was false. <laughs> and that people actually love it. And that like, as we just discussed, lots of people are at PyCon for the first time, so they don't know what happened last year. And people mostly care what, that you can explain something well, um, and even though like, it's OK to be a world expert, but you don't have to be. <laughs> Um, uh, and yeah, so please consider like giving a talk next year while you're watching talks. Um, a, a sooner time that you can give a talk is like today. <laughs> if you're interested in giving a lightning talk, there's sign up at the registration desk, and if you sign up um, to to give a lightning talk, you'll hear back around two or three p.m. is what the lightning talk chair told me. Um, so lightning talks are super fun to give because they're like lower stress, right? They don't last that long. <laughs> and they're super interesting and I would love to hear what you have to say. Um, so please consider submitting a lightning talk. Um, another one of my favorite things is open spaces. Who's been to an open space? Woo! Open spaces. Um, so the way open spaces work is they're um, things that we organize mostly at PyCon. Um, so the way you do it is you pick a topic and a time in a room. There's an open space sign up board outside. Um, and then you see who shows up. And then you learn and you meet some people who are interested in your topic. Um, people have run open spaces about all kinds of things. Um, you could run one about unit testing or about like scientific Python or about how to organize um, like local user groups. You could be like, I run a user group in like Minneapolis and I run one in Montreal and like what, what could we be doing better? Um, you can also have uh, open spaces about things that are not technical at all, uh, right? Like we, you could have like a dance party um, probably. <laughs> I haven't actually checked if, <laughs> about the rules about dance parties. Um, one thing that happened last year was people did like nail painting where people painted like Py the PyCon logo on their nails, I understand, or like Python, so, you know, which is like the greatest, right? Like nothing could be better. <laughs> um, so uh, open spaces are super fun. Um, and like 
please consider going to them and, and organizing one. Um, the hallway is a good place to learn, me, to, to learn things. I, I wanted to put this here um, because sometimes I feel like I have to go to talks all the time um, and the talks are amazing, um, but it's okay to like also like meet all of the people around you because they're, like if you look around you, it's, it's good to spend some time just like hanging out in the hall. Um, that's totally okay to do. Um, the sprints! The sprints may or may not come up again uh, because I'm so excited about them. <laughs> um, so the sprints are for four days after the main conference um, from Monday to Thursday. And um, the first time I went to like sprints at a programming conference, I was like, oh no, what do I do? What do I work on? I'm super confused. Um, and like, it, it, it can be kind of hard. Um, so one thing that we're doing this year is there's an introduction to open source workshop on Sunday from 5.30 to 8.30. Um, so if you're interested... <laughs> um, so if you're interested in participating in the sprints but you're like maybe nervous about some aspects of it, um, please come to that. Um, and there will be a lot of people available to help you. Um, and to help you make awesome contributions and to like learn lots of things. Um, there's a poster session, which is amazing. So my favorite thing about the poster session, I think, is that there are people there, um, and I can go up to them and like interrogate them about things that they're interested in. <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> but like in, in a talk, right, someone's telling you things, and then like you're, you're kind of stuck with whatever they're telling you, which is probably awesome. But in a poster session, you can be like, oh, that thing on your poster, I need to know about that. Like, um, and, and you can ask lots of questions and like find out lots of stuff. And the people are there because they want to talk to you, so you like definitely don't need to feel bad about asking questions. Um, so I think that the poster session is really amazing, um, and I'm very excited about it. And I wish I'd spent more time at it last year, and I'm going to spend more time at it this year. Um, that's on Sunday from 10 to 1. Um, while we're learning stuff, there are a bunch of kids who are learning Python, which is super great. Um, <laughs> I'm so pleased about this. Um, it's full for this year. If you have um, kids who you think would benefit from learning Python, obviously, <laughs> um, get them, maybe consider bringing them next year, and hopefully we'll do it again. Um, now we get to talk about meeting awesome people. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, okay, um, so, so, so I'm from Montreal. Um, I live here. Um, I got into the Python community because I started going to like, the Montreal Python user group, which was like the best, and I was like, oh man, and then Py Py Python, Python came to Montreal, and I was like, this is the best possible thing, right? <laughs> Um, and what my favorite thing in the last couple of days has been like seeing people coming to, to the city that I live in um, and seeing them like discover it and being like, oh wow, I had poutine and it was really good or like it was really bad <laughs> and like having like strong opinions about it <laughs> or having like experiences where they're like, ah, oh, I'm speaking French and I don't know how um, or I get to practice my French that I learned in school. Um, <clears throat> so please take some time to explore the city um, and, and go outside. Um, it's super, like it's super walkable. Um, there's, you can like walk up the mountain. There's a lot to see. There's, I believe, a Tourism Montreal booth around here, which um, is like, Tourism Montreal has a lot of things, awesome things to say. I, the other weekend, I was like, I don't know, I didn't know what to do, so I went to the Tourism Montreal site, which is ridiculous, because I live here. Um, but then they were like, yeah, Julia, you should go snowshoeing. And then I went snowshoeing, and it was amazing. Um, <laughs> so like, apparently Tourism Montreal knows what's up. <laughs> um, but I mean, also feel free to just like wander around and like go to great restaurants. We have really great restaurants. Um, like you have to leave like the conference complex and go to great restaurants. It's, it's, the, it's the rules. Um, <laughs> there's also an Explore Montreal um, uh, thing that's been going, going to happen if you meet. Um, I think you need to sign up. I'm not actually totally sure. You should check. Um, if you meet at 10.15 a.m. at registration, um, there are going to be uh, like more organized things to explore the city. Um, 
Another awesome place to meet people is the exhibition hall. Um, it's kind of surprising to me how much I love the exhibition hall, um, so I'm gonna tell you all about it. Um, so, um, one thing that I love is the community sponsors. Um, so, PyCon partners with a bunch of community organizations like Django Girls or NumFocus or Pi Ladies or like the Center for Open Science. Um, and one of the best things about PyCon, as you probably all know, um, is that a lot of the people who run the organizations that you're interested in are here at PyCon today, right? And they're probably in this room. Um, so like, if you're interested in like starting a PyLadies group in your city, or you're interested in like scientific Python conferences, like the people who run that are here and you can go talk to them about it, which is the greatest. Um, so I did a lot of that last year. I would go like, be like, oh, I wanna know more about like Open Hatch, and I would talk to the Open Hatch people and learn about what they do, and it was like amazing. Um, so please uh, go do that. Um, also, there are all the amazing sponsors, um, which I only put two hearts, but that wasn't enough. <laughs> um, we're gonna apply for the sponsors later. It's going to happen, don't worry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, so, but yeah, the sponsors do all kinds of really cool things, right? Um, like, they're, they're like companies who do work and there are a lot of like developers there at the booth and you can talk to them and ask them about their work and it's really fun. Um, so, please go do that. I really like to do that. There's also a jobs fair if you're looking for a job or like you're not looking for a job but you think you might be later. Um, it's, it's like super good to go talk to companies and find out what they do. Um, PyCon also wants to support like uh, startups and like entrepreneurship, right? And like people starting their own thing. Um, so there's Startup Bro, which is a bunch of like py startups that use Python um, who are in the ex ex exhibition hall. Um, there are six of them on Friday and six of them on Saturday. Um, and you can go talk to them and find out like what their experience is like, um, how starting a startup has been for them. Um, and if you have a startup that uses Python, you can also consider applying to be part of Startup Row next year. Um, there are two awesome PyCon dinners. Uh, these both have like Python trivia. Last year I went to one and it was the best because like we started out with questions about Python and I was like, oh yeah, I, I've totally got this. I know about Python, right? Um, and then like they started getting harder and I found out that I did not know many of the things about Python that were in the trivia night. And um, it's a great play thing to do if you want to meet people um, because like you go to dinner and then you're having dinner with a bunch of delightful Pythonistas and doing trivia questions with them. Um, I think one of them is full and one of them is not um, and there's still, still a little bit of space. Um, you can uh, buy a ticket as part of your, on the PyCon registration site. Um, we're back to the sprints. <laughs> I, so the thing I wanted to say about the sprints here is like um, there are all these open source maintainers and they're going to be at the sprints and you can hang out with them and like learn about how to contribute and it's really cool. I'm just really excited about the sprints. Uh, so I wanted to bring it up again. <laughs> um, there's going to be a Pi Ladies lunch again this year. Um, this is a super great way to hang out with a bunch of like wonderful women who uh, write Python. Um, I went to it last year. Um, I'm going to go again to it this year. It's a super great time, please come. Um, I think you need to sign up on Eventbrite. Yeah. Yes. I heard an emphatic yes. <laughs> you need to sign up on Eventbrite um, and come. It's going to be awesome. Um, awesome. So now I want to talk a little bit about like giving back to the community and how we do that. Um, so. There's a 5K charity run tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Um, so for, which is super, super great. Um, I would love it if you signed up for this. Um, there's still lots of space to sign up. All of the proceeds for this go to uh, Autism, Autism Speaks, um, which is a super great cause. Um, so, and this is a good place to go meet other people who wake up at seven in the morning to go running, <laughs> which I can only imagine is a pretty awesome group of people, right? Like, <laughs> like what could be better? <laughs> um, there's going to be a charity auction again this year. Um, where the proceeds go to Pi Ladies. Um, one thing that I learned about the charity auction is that there's a 26 pound gummy snake 
which is probably a good enough reason to go by itself. <laughs> um, there are also a lot of other awesome auction items. So, um, another way you can give back is to volunteer. There are a lot of amazing volunteers this year. Can we get a huge round of applause for the volunteers? <laughs> Um, Python would like literally not be possible without vol the volunteers, right? Like it doesn't, like Py 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 Python is run by volunteers. Um, I'd like to especially thank the chair and co-chair, Diana Clark and Mathieu de Jacamel, who do like an amazing amount of work. Uh, <laughs> um, thank you so much. Um, we'd also like to thank the speakers um, who like come to PyCon and like share all of the awesome things they know with us. Um, it's amazing. Um, who, who, who's giving a talk this year actually? That's amazing. I'm so excited. Um, I'd like to thank the Python Software Foundation, who like provides like the financial backing for PyCon, and also like without which PyCon would not be possible. Um, one thing that I think is really cool about the PSF is recently I was running because um, I'm often like, oh, the PSF is like this like big thing that does a lot of awesome stuff. But, like, what does that have to do with me, right? Um, but then I found out that, they'll, that they actually like, give you funding for like local workshops in your area. Um, and I was organizing like a day long Python workshop. And then I was like, hey, could we get like funding to like help run a workshop? And they were like, yeah, of course. And, and it was like super awesome. Um, so the PSF is like there for you. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, Obviously, a huge round, I need a huge round of applause for the sponsors. <laughs> uh, conferences take like a shocking amount of money to put on. <laughs> um, like, for example, without the sponsors, we would not have like live captioning for talks. Um, and there, there are just like so many things at PyCon that would not exist. Um, and it, also the whole thing, right? Like, <laughs> um, so like, thank, thank, thank you so much to all the sponsors. Um, so um, now it's time for the opening keynote. Um, I'm pretty excited about this because we were just talking about like giving back, right? Um, so our opening keynote is by uh, Catherine Bracy from Code for America, and my understanding of what Code for America does is it's all about like as programmers, like what can we do to like make our government better, um, which is super cool. Um, so she's the director director of community organizing there, um, and I'm very very excited to hear from her. Um, thank you so much again. <laughs> 